like to say thank you all for coming um, tonight. Um, a Lambie orphanage is actually in Vietnam and I'm setting it up and I'm going to be running it by myself. And the reason being is I was born in Vietnam in 1969 in the middle of the Vietnam War and I was abandoned by my mother when I was a newborn and stopped in the streets of Vietnam and put straight into the nearest orphanage where I spent the first three years of my life. I was one of the lucky ones and some English nurses came to Vietnam and looked after the mixed race children because my mum is Vietnamese and my dad is a black American GI. And <clears throat> through the help of the nurses, I was flown with British Embassy to England where I spent the rest of my life here. And five years ago, I decided to go back to Vietnam and see my country, and I realized there's still lots of children who are orphaned and abandoned like myself, um, but they're not as lucky as I was. And so I have decided to make a very, very big decision, and I am moving to Vietnam, and I'm taking on this orphanage by myself, and I'm setting it up, and <clears throat> I'm taking on eight children, and in six months I hope to take on two more, I've sold my car, I've sold my shoes, I've sold my personal possessions to set this up. And it is a life-changing decision that I've decided to do. And obviously my money isn't going to last forever. So I'm relying on people like yourself to help these children. Now these children are in orphanages at the moment um, where they're crammed in into orphanages that can only take 45 and there's 75 children in this particular orphanage. They're not being looked after, they're not being educated and they're not being fed properly. So what I've decided to do is take on eight children and specifically try and educate them and give them the love and attention and the encouragement that they should have. And so to do that, I need your help. Now, <clears throat> the main concern is to get them educated because in Vietnam, there is no welfare state, there is no NHS, and basically if you don't earn the money and you can't speak English, you don't survive. You have to pay for everything. You have to pay for education, your food, doctors, dentists, and these children don't have anybody at all to help them. So <clears throat> what I hope to do is get these children into full-time education, um, to get them extra curriculum lessons, and to be able to look after them and make them feel wanted, loved, and cherished, which they don't do at the moment. And to do this, I need sponsors um, who are willing to donate £30 a month for these children. And £30 a month will get them into full-time education for a month, get them fed and clothed, get their books, their school uniforms, everything. £30 a month isn't much to us, but to Vietnam, it is a lot of money, and it will get them their education and their future. And what we hope to do is to keep this going so we can take more children on and educate more children and give them a hope. And when I told some of the children what I was doing and that I was actually going to give everything up and sell everything to take these children on, one of the older children, she turned around and said to me, she burst into tears and said, now I have something worth living for. And that to me means that all. Oh, these children don't have anything worth living for, but with your help and your donations and your support, we can actually help these children to look to the future, educate them and actually give them a hope. So thank you very much for your support. Um, I leave in three weeks' time to take on these eight children. I am very scared. Um, and with your help, we will give them a hope and we will give them the future. So if you can spend £30 a month, Please visit the website, alambu.co.uk, and sponsor us and support us, and just be with me on this journey. Thank you.